Hey everybody, welcome back. So in the last tutorial, we took our images that we had imported previously, and I showed you how to open them up in the sprite editor and then cut out the piece of the image that you would actually need. Again, we used that, um, we put everything in there in these power of two values for compression reasons, and it can really help reduce the size of your app. Uh, so when people download it later, they don't have a huge thing to download. So um, let's. So now we're going to take these images and we're going to start building visually. You know, building our app that you know we want to see. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to click on Scene, and you should be starting off where I left off. Um, if not, just open up your project and try to get to here. Uh, again, let's do a recap. All we have so far is we have the canvas, and then I made a panel for the canvas. I called it main panel. This is going to be like our main menu, our main screen that pops up when we open up the app. Over here we have the game view, which is what it would look like on our phone or tablet. And over here we have our scene view, which is kind of like our main editor where we can drop and drag and put in buttons. I'm going to try to make this a little bigger for you guys. I'll pull this down so you can see. And uh, maybe you're still using the layout that I used. If, if not, that's fine. Whatever layout works for you, as long as you can see what you're doing here. Um, I have the phone put on iPhone uh, tall. Uh, we can do iPad tall too. But um, since this is, might be for iPhone, I'm just going to keep it on the iPhone tall for now. Um, so yeah, so what did our, our app look like? You know, what did our window look like? So let's go back and look at what we were looking at earlier in Marvel. And this is what it's going to look like. We have our images that we've imported here. So we're going to lay them out the same way. We're, we're basically going to be designing the same screen in Unity. OK, so let's let's go back to Unity and let's start. So <clears throat> if we look back um, in, in, in our app, those images were buttons, right? So we that's fine. We don't have to use a straight up image. One of the things we could do is we could go under main panel here. We can right click and then go to UI and we can do image. And then we can kind of drag this image where we want it. And then we can move it here. We can do really cool things. You don't really have to follow along yet. I'm just showing you a couple different ways you can do it. And then you can, over here, you can apply. You can hold down the home screen image and drag it over here and put it in your sprite. And it shows up here, right? And you can move it around. You can keep the aspect ratio if you want. But, um,. But yeah, but the thing is that we wanted that to be a button, right? We want to be able to click this and do something with it, right? So uh, what we can do is we can we, we can still make that a button, okay? Um, but we'll just we'll, we'll do it a different way. So uh, let's go ahead on the main panel here. We're going to click on it, we're, and we're going to right click, and we're going to go to UI, and we're going to go to button. So this is going to be our first button, OK? And then we're going to go to Main Panel, UI, Button. And we're going to put, I think it was one, two, three. We're going to put all the sprites we have down here. We're going to, all these will be buttons. So we're going to go ahead and add several buttons here. So we're going to add five total. And once you do this one, you can just, another quick way, once you have one button on there, you can right click and you can hit uh, Duplicate. Now, it's going to put it in the same space over here. So what you'll do is you'll just kind of drag that down, right? <clears throat> and then if you want, we can just click here, hold down the Shift key, click again, and then we're going to duplicate two more because we need two more in the scene, right? And then we'll just drag those two down like that. You can rewind that and see that again if you need to. But we have, here's our five buttons. And now we're going to go ahead and start laying them out. We're going to associate the images. So this button, we can. what I do for a little bit of housekeeping work is I like to make sure I'm naming my buttons. I can keep the button name on it, but we can add another name like so. So I can highlight the button here. And then I'm going to move my cursor over. And I'm going to call this one Home Screen. Home underscore screen underscore button. Hit enter. Now we've named it. And again, you can also rename the buttons by clicking here and then going over to your inspector where my mouse is here and then renaming it there as well. I want to make sure that I'm naming these right for you guys. So this is home screen top image. So we're going to call this, I'm not going to call it home screen. I'm actually going to rename this to top, top button. 
the next one we're going to rename to bottom button or, or I think it was not bottom what was that middle so that's bottom and then we have a middle yeah so we did have a middle there so I'm going to rename that guy to middle middle underscore button there we go we'll do the same thing here this is going to be bottom underscore button bottom underscore button and then we have our hamburger menu button so I'm going to call this one hamburger underscore button and again you guys can name these however, whatever makes sense for you because the one person going to see this is you or maybe another developer helping you but as long as you have you know a plan down so you understand what these names mean that's fine and then we're going to name the other one we're going to call it Ted X button Ted underscore X underscore button we're going to Okay, now we've named all our buttons. Now let's go ahead and start assigning some images to these buttons, okay? So the top button, we wanted to assign this. So you just, all you gotta do is you gotta hold down your button, your um, mouse button here in your project window, and we're gonna drag it over to the source image part. Right, and, and, and it's gonna be a little off, right? So but that's okay, we're just going and putting these buttons up there and associating them. Uh, the middle button is going to be, if we get lost, we can always go back over here and look. Yeah, network with professionals. That's going to be our, oh, sorry guys. That's going to be our next one. So make sure we have middle button highlighted. We're going to grab the middle button one and bring it over to the source image. And we'll do the same thing for the bottom button. And we'll do the same thing for hamburger button. And last but not least, our TEDx button. All right. So if we remember, these two were kind of over. So what I'm going to do, another, another trick I'm going to do is I want to keep the aspect ratio for some of these, especially for this hamburger one. So if you, you can click on the button here and then go over to your inspector over here. And we're going to preserve aspect. So that makes it look a lot better. Then we can pull that down and then I'm just going to kind of make the button small because you don't if I left it here that this whole space would be a button. So if the user clicked anywhere in there and they maybe not mean to. Right. So we're going to make sure this button fits that aspect and we're just going to drag it at the top because it's going to be up at the top. Um, now we have these other buttons and we, we can go ahead and we can preserve aspect for all of these if we if we want. Um, the problem is I th we really want these buttons. We want the image to always fit within the bounds of the button, right? So what we'll do is we'll go over. I'm going to go ahead and drag this guy over and you hold it here. We're going to drag it over here to make it fit. We're going to drag it to the top and let me go ahead and move these other buttons down and kind of get them out of the way for a minute. I might even put them over to the side. So remember the guys are over here to the side. And let's pull this guy down. So we can preserve aspect if we want. Just to see how big it would be. So that's the original size there. And then we can bring in this guy. Let's preserve aspect ratio on that one as well. Let's go ahead and make that guys. We want to make sure we're hitting the sides here. And we can bring that guy up. So as you can see, it's not really, um, if we preserve aspect ratio, we're not going to be able to fit everything onto the screen. So that can be a problem, but that's, it's not that big of a problem. We'll bring it up just a tad. We don't have to preserve aspect. We can even do that. That way it's always kind of fitting on there. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you preserve aspect. Some of these may not fit, you know, on your on the screen here. And let's go ahead and bring the bottom button down. And we're gonna drag that up, kind of we're gonna make all this fit. And in the original one, if we look back, this top one was a little bit bigger than the others, 
but I kind of want them to all be the same size. And you know, it can be kind of tricky trying to mess with these. So I'll show you. I'll show you a trick here in a second. Uh, we also have the TEDx button. Remember, it always goes. To the, it's going to go to the top here. We can bring that down just a tad. And the hamburger button as well. Where's my hamburger button? It's over there. So let's go back. Let's drag this guy up, and he's going to be in the corner there. Now, one thing, I don't know if you notice this or not, but you can see the there's like some text here. So every time you create a button in Unity, it automatically has a text child. And if you look here in the hierarchy, I'll just pull down the uh, TEDx button. You can see that it automatically gives you a text. So if you wanted to apply text to your button, you could. But we don't need these for because our images are a button. So we're just going to, I'm going to uh, click on the text there, and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to right click, and we're going to delete it. We're going to do the same thing for the hamburger button. We'll do the same thing for the bottom button, same thing for the middle button, and for the top button. Now we don't have any text interfering with our buttons. That's pretty good. Now, what I really like to do is I like to use this thing called the content size fitter, right? And it will keep everything kind of lined up and, and together, um, which, is, which is really nice. So in the next video, <clears throat> we're going to talk about this con content size fitter and the different uh, components that you would need in order for that to work. You need a content size fitter. We're also going to talk about layout groups and a layout element. Essentially, everything on your panel that has functionality or that you want it to kind of size your screen is going to be a layout element. And then we have this layout group and all the elements will be part of a group and you can do more than one group but for right now we're just going to do one and they will all be part of the content size fitter so that'll be in the next tutorial so um yeah i'll, I'll see you there and we'll continue doing this thanks mm -hmm.